the stem. We have the leaves. We have what we call the fruits. All these together, children, we gave them one name. And the name given to all this is what we call the shoot. These belong to what we call the shoot. And then on this side, we have what we call the root. And here we have the roots. So don't forget our two system. The shoot system having the flowers, the stem, the leaves, the fruits. They are above the ground. And then the root system that has the roots. And it's on that note that we remind ourselves of the types of the roots. We know we have one type of root already that we call the tap root system. Tap root system. Now we bring in our second group called the fibrous roots. The fibrous roots. And to help us understand the fibrous, fibrous is an English word. But let's bring it down to our simple way of understanding it. And to help us do that, I'll show you a plant. Have you seen such plant anywhere, children? I know. There's something which grows taller there and you use it for sweeping. This is a plant. The flower will always come out here and you see some very good thing that you always pluck out and you use it for sweeping. Those are the flowers and the fruits of the plant. But we are interested in the, the roots. We want to look at the roots of this plant. And there they are. This type of root is what we call fibrous roots. Fibrous roots. We spell fibrous as F I B R O U S. Fibrous. Now, children, in the other one, we said it had a main root. We saw a main root growing. When we look at this one here, we don't see a main root. They all seem to be coming from one central place. Children, if you look at our roots here again, they all seem to be coming from one common point. There is no big root. There is no big root. They are all coming from a common point. And then, when you look at the roots, look at the size of this root. Look at the size of that root. Look at the size of this root. What do we realize? What do we see? They are almost of the same size. They are almost the same size. If I showed you all this, if I showed you all this, you don't see a bigger root. If you looked on this side and we saw the, this one that are a bit old, this root here, the size here, the size here, the size here is the same. So we are saying they come from one common place and they are of the same size. Coming from one place and are of the same size. These are the ones we are calling fibrous roots. Children, we head into a short break. 
When we come back, we continue looking at these roads. Let me see you after the break. Time now for Fan Fact. Welcome back from that short break, children. Before you went for the break, we were looking at our roots. And this type of root is the one we are calling fib fibrous roots. And we had said that if you look at all my roots, they come from one point. So we note that one and say that these roots, fibrous roots, come from one point. Say, the roots, the roots come from, come from one common point. They come from one common. They come from one common point children all these roots are coming from one common point after coming from one common point what do they do they spread in different direction look at this one it's going in its own direction this one is going that side this one that side, this one that side, this one going down, this one coming to me, and then these ones are going to where you are, in those different directions. So when you uproot a plant and you see this type of root, then you know that is fibrous, a fibrous root. So we say, from the common point, the roots spread in many directions. We say, the roots, the roots spread, spread in many directions, many Children, we need to note the roots spread in many directions. I know teacher Andrew talked about the campus direction. North, east, west, south, and name it. The roots go in those different directions. And the last point we need to note about these roots is we say when you look at this road, when you look at that road, when you look at that road, they are of same size. The roots are of the same size. We shall write right here our next point and say the roots is the roots. The roots are of the same size. Same size. Same size. And we need to note about the word same. The roots are of the same size. Children, look at our diagrams carefully. Look at our diagram carefully. The sizes are almost the same. The sizes are almost the same. And once you're moving out, once you see this type of roots, once you uproot and you find a plant with this type of roots, then it qualifies to be a fibrous root. Fibrous roots. Now, after looking at that, children, 
We know the three. What are the three? The roads come from one common point. The roads spread in many directions. The roads are of the same size. We ask ourselves, you have looked at all this. Are there some plants? Do you know of any plant that has this type of roots? Have you gone in the garden? I know you have been in the garden very many occasions. I know we have uprooted very many plants. Are there some plants that we have seen that have this type of plant? I mean, type of roots. Yes, they are. And what we are looking at next is we look at examples. We shall look at examples of plants with with fibrous with fibrous roots do we know some of those plants that have fibrous roots what are some of those plants we want to look at them as examples of plants with fibrous roots Let's underline our work here and we are looking at examples of plants with fibrous roots. Okay. Sorry, our ruler created our ruler created the change, but this is with this is W, this is I T, this was F. I and this was our letter B R O U and then this was our R O. So examples of plants with fibrous roots. Do you know any of them? I think we do. But hold that answer briefly. We are heading to a very short break. When you come back, make sure you give me that answer. See you after the break. Do you know your plants and animals? <laughs> Welcome back from the break, children. Before you went for the break, we had looked at the three ways we had described our fibrous roots. You looked at the roots coming from one point. I know you're seated in one common point. And then they spread in many directions. The roots from one common place going to many directions. And then the roots are of the same size. The roots are of the same size. So we know some of those plants. Do you know any of them? Yes. I'll give you my examples and I'll ask you, I will want you to give me many more of those plants that we have seen with the fibrous root system. So to me, if I look at my plant here, it resembles a plant, it resembles a crop that we eat at home. It resembles a certain plant that grows and then it puts on other things. It puts on other fruits and then in a certain season we harvest. And after harvesting, we store somewhere and then we prepare some very good food, some take porridge, some eat it as food. Do you know the crop? Yes. This one looks more like millet. So examples. We would include one. I would have millet. Millet has that type of roots. Talking about millet, we would have another crop just next to millet. And if you're east, if you're from west, whether central or north, you must be knowing the plant that I'm going to write next 
it is just like melati also grows but is it's a bit bigger and that is we talk about sorghum we talk about sorghum sorghum is yet another plant when you get the roots are like that and then there is a very good plant that we enjoy eating some we sometime we eat it when it is roasted sometime we eat it when it is cooked sometime they may when it is taken to the machine and they get flour out of it we eat it as food for lunch that is maize maize children when you look at when you look at the roots of maize they are like that and then my friends from tororo we tend to grow certain crop in water and then at a certain period we go chasing the birds do you know the crop the crop is rice the crop is rice rice is another plant that has type of roots and then i could add on the list and call it I've called them grasses. If you move in your compound, if you're digging, almost many grass have the fibrous root system. Now children, me I have been showing you the fibrous root system. Can we try to draw? Yes, we can draw a fibrous root system. Let's try to look at what you would call the structure. Let's look at, okay, let's just say we are looking at our fibrous. Our fibrous root. How is it going to look like children? We are going to draw our grasses. This is our grass. Let's take the grasses. These are the leaves coming at a common point. When we reach a common point, we are having our soil. But from this one common point, we get, what are we going to get? We are going to get roots coming from one common point. Those roots are going to go in different directions and they will be of the same size. So one, very many roots coming from one place, coming from one place, going in different directions, in different direction there are very many coming from one common place and going in different directions remember these were our leaves these were our leaves these were our leaves if it was a grass but from this one common place we get small small roots very very many small roots in different directions and these could be the leaves these could be the leaves and this is the common place but these smaller ones are the one we are calling fibrous roots we are calling them fibrous roots. What are they? From one common place, going in very many directions, and are of the same size. They qualify to be the fibrous roots. Now children, let's go through what you've been looking at again. Where did we begin from children? We started from the roots. And what are you talking about the roots? We're saying, after looking at the first type called the taproot, 
that has a main road. The fibrous roads come from a common point. They spread in many directions. The roads are all the same size. The roads are of the same size. And of examples, we included millet, sorghum, maize, rice, and then I've said grasses. And here we are with our structure, how the roots look like. I know it might not look like the one I've shown you, but if you look at these roots, they are those in many directions, small in size. We'll have our leaves, we have the fibrous roots, and they belong to a system called the roots. Children, I do hope you've enjoyed our lesson and when you go out you will look for these roads with that we come to the end of our lesson thank you for being good students till we meet again may god bless you sarah says be smart We've cut and reduced our MTN Momo withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rates. You also get MTN Century Points when you deposit, send and withdraw MTN Mobile money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. Welcome to Coffee Production Tips, brought to you by Uganda Coffee Development Authority. Uganda Coffee Development Authority is the government agency mandated to promote and oversee the coffee industry as a whole by developing research, facilitating coffee production and productivity, by training farmers on good agricultural practices, controlling the quality and improving the marketing of coffee for the benefit of stakeholders. In this series, a trained farmer, Mr. Wally Christopher, gives tips and demonstrates digging the hole, planting coffee seedlings, mulching, training coffee seedlings, and stamping coffee. People have not been mulching their coffee. And we, are, we want to start, we are going to reintroduce mulching of coffee because it is, that is a climate smart technology. Whenever it rains, yes, the water will do what? We will resist the water because the software is there. So that you maintain the soil temperature, you maintain the soil moisture. So I leave this space. Why? The termites. Because whenever you put a dry element on the ground, our friends, the termite, will come to break it down, to start the decomposition process. As they do, they will attack your what? Coffee. So you leave this space. So that the termites and the other insects don't tap with the what? And that rain which comes will just go in are also here but it will be sustained so that the the rate of over 